The third thing is what Jesus mentioned when he said, for I always do the, the thing, those things that please him. So sin is the first thing that makes us lose the feeling of God's presence. Sin obstructs prayer. All the degrees of sin, a thought, a look, or a word, they all jeopardize the relationship with God. As if you are unplugged from him. It's like everything is going beautifully, then all of a sudden the electricity cuts off because I said an unnecessary word or thought an unnecessary thought. God does not go away. It is the th sin that is making a barrier between us and God so we do not see that he is looking at us. He's hearing us, but we're not paying attention. Also, take care of the things that separate you from God's presence. I said that the first idea is one, hold on to your mission, and two, hold on to the feelings that you have in prayer and do not lose them. Also, be cautious of things that separate you from prayer. Let me give you an example so you can understand what I'm getting at. Looking around during the Divine Liturgy or talking too much after it. Someone may be focusing on the Divine Liturgy and then he opens his eyes, sees someone, and thinks to himself, for just one second, why is he coming late? When he tries to refocus on prayer, he can't. He lost it. Or maybe he is praying at home and his wife says something and he gets angry. When he tries to come back and pray, he cannot. He loses it just because of his anger. It is not easy, but it needs some training. Be careful of what separates you from God's presence. Talking too much, eating too much, sleeping too much, or worrying too much, these all can separate you from God's presence. If you talk with people after the Divine Liturgy, you will lose what you gained from the Divine Liturgy. The devil knows how to steal our treasures. Eating a lot, especially during celebrations of holy feasts, makes us lose the blessing of the Divine Liturgy. I am telling you why Elijah, Moses, and Paul were living at this high level. They were focusing on these. Don't think that they had it easy. They were very cautious. Why? because they were at a level they didn't want to lose. When Paul said in 1 Corinthians 9.27, I discipline my body and bring it into subjection, he knew that one word, one meal, or excess sleep can make him lose this level. Also, excess money separates you from the relationship. Pride, if you believe the good words people tell you, you will fall. If you were praying and then started comparing yourself with someone, you will lose it. We are not talking about huge sins. We are talking about hidden minor things that can make you fall.